Welcome to Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena, home of the Los Scandalous Vault and Dam. Wait, what? Both teams share the same arena? Uh, yeah, except when they're playing each other, and then I don't know who the home team is, really. Ah, uh, now I'm confused, Grim. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The New Gorland Zombies battle the Los Scandalous Vaults. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> it's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrill along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. And uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and a pussy here. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. First and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. First down. And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. That, my friends, was an all-pro MFL hit. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. First and ten.
Second down in a mile. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Bricks. Great color work as usual. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I pictured that day. Uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for nine yards. Third down and six. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me well you mistaken man you get up in my grill i'm gonna ruin your world i'm gonna wreck it i thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose instead they're in a dead heat tie game at the end of one third down and long way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play and up comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter he 
boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. And just... Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and eight to go. And he picks up about six on the play. Second down and two. Third down and three. It's two yard run before he stopped. They don't need much here. Looks like they're going for it. for the touchdown. Hey, uh, Rick, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. They are going for it, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down and more than the QB would like. away and that is a big game you know the defense wants some payback after that and that'll bring up third and one First and ten. And he 
hold on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. First down and seven. He just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets a turnover. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts it. Ain't nothing worse than wasting a good explosive. They're back up here on first down. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. And the defense gives him five yards there. Third down and five. the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple tree bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her... Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strippede show. Where we going? Hey, hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. It's about a three-yard pickup. Third down and six. First down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. The punt goes into the end zone, and it's a touchback. And it's first and ten. up two yards on the catch and that'll be second and eight to go the defense holds him to a four-yard pick up there Four. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and seven. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third down and six. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! It's a touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. That was a good throw. Assuming he was aiming for the ground. 
Second down and ten. That run is good for ten yards. And that'll bring up third down and inches. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Hit. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Third down and eight. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass. Saying the rap has been rhymed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. Third down and offense says it's time to put the rap out of his misery. a decent punt and he's got a chance for a good return here oh man he just laid the wood on that guy yeah if you're gonna hit a guy that hard that's the end of the third quarter this game is going to come down to the wire and it's first and ten a pickup of about three on that play Second down and seven. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And then put six points on the board. The defense could do anything to stop a thrown head, good man. You made a 
aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see. Points, so they're going for two. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the line, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down and a lot. Don't worry. If he shots you to death. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. <laughs> and it's first and ten.
Second down and long. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have the man at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, we want the hurry-up offense. There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the... He had it for a second there. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stumpsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. That big deal. Mr. Meat for Brace ran with a ball and didn't fall down. No, seriously, now you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. 
The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, bigger than yours. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, it got blown to shit. Speaking of blow, where's my little pile? <laughs> The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly second and, and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense he's looking for a quick score Aren't we all Glenn? Aren't we all <laughs> Third down and six. And the Los Scandalous Vols take the win today. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, wait, I'm about a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Call me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.